welcome. This is Lisa Jones, and you are listening to the Exploring Death Podcast. Hello, and welcome to the Exploring Death Podcast. I'm Lisa Jones, your host, and today I have with me Becky Odd Jennison. She has identified herself as a death talker, a therapist gone rogue. A fire was lit in Becky to create the Death Dialogues Project after intimately walking her brother and mother home in 2017. An expansive thinker, even as a child, it was her dad's visits after his death that validated that. Indeed, energy does not die. A believer that our stories are the greatest teachers about all things death. Her mission is to help bring conversations surrounding death, dying, and the aftermath out of the closet. Welcome, Becky. Hi, I'm so glad to be with you today. Oh my gosh, I am so glad to be have you here. I feel like we are such kindred spirits and that we both have this real desire to talk about death and bring it out of the closet and really help people embrace it to help them live more fully. So let's see the first, so this is a reading. So the first card is enthusiasm and it's always the, it's actually the blockage card. And I feel like for both you and I, most people don't have so much enthusiasm around death as you and I do. <laughs> and yeah. People are like death. Oh my gosh, run. Don't want to yeah. talk about it. Yeah. And, um, but I love that you and I are, you know, this is, this is our life path. It's our life work. I mean, I can't not do this. This is literally just, you know, I feel so compelled as I think you do as well. As, um, yes, and the action card is beginnings. And I think, again, what I'm getting from this is we're beginning to see a shift and this opening and this embracing of, of the way it used to be, you know, it's coming full circle. And, and the more that we can get these stories out to people and to embrace what the experience is, you know, the more, um, you know, just the more people will be able to have a good death and be able to, like you said, skip three years of therapy <laughs> really, <laughs> by being mm. able to really fully embrace it and talk about it in the time. And that's the outcome is then radiance is uh. that, you know, people um, are able, not only the people that experience the death of their loved one, but also their loved one can go on and be in this radiant place and share their joy and not have people question that, you know, there, is that a sign? Is that a sign? Yes, it's a sign. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that I think it's interesting, you know, as soon as you said radiance, I think not just because it sounds similar, but the Ram Dass experience and everything about him, right, is just exudes radiance. I would like to, you know, your readers, his beautiful book, um, Walking Each Other Home, is, yes. I'd highly recommend that. It's a beautiful, Absolutely. beautiful book. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, wonderful. I've so enjoyed chatting with you. So how can people find you? So probably the quickest way is just to go to our website. And I say our meaning me and all of the storytellers who share their stories. I just feel like it's a collective. I'm sure you feel much the same way. It's just filled with energy of all of these beautiful, beautiful stories. And that's at uh, www.deathdialogues.net. And there you can find um, some writing and you can find the podcast platforms and information about the podcast. The most recent episode is always in there under the podcast link. And yeah, and find your way to our Instagram page, um, Death Dialogues uh, Project and Facebook page. And that's how people get in touch with me. Yeah. Fantastic. And of course, I will have all those links also on my website so people can easily find you there. But thank you so much, Becky. It's such a joy. And I just love all your stories. Thank you for sharing them with us. Well, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Take care. And for you listening in, be sure to stay tuned as I will be pulling cards for you up next. <laughs> 